In this video, I want to give you a very basic introduction to Google Classroom. It's an online platform that connects students and teachers. We'll go through a couple of basic sample assignments like a quiz and an essay and just give you an idea of what it looks like and how to get started. So the teacher of your class or of your child's class should be sending you a link to Google Classroom and then a class code for the specific class that you're taking. Okay, so you can see your blank Google Classroom platform here. We haven't added any classes yet, so we're going to go ahead and add right here. We're going to click on the plus and join class. And we're going to use the class code that was given to you by your teacher. And that's going to allow you to access your class. Google Classroom is a very useful app. If you have experience with other Google apps, Docs, Sheets, Slides, or a number of others, it's going to be pretty easy for you to pick up on this. But let's go ahead and click on the class now that it's showing up here. You see the title of the class. There are going to be three tabs at the top of the screen. So first, the stream is basically the running communication between teacher and students. Anything that a teacher posts, whether it's a quiz, an assignment, required reading, they can post videos, and then students can post questions, or really anything that they want to in the stream as well. It's a running communication. It'll all be here. Basically, all the activity that's going on between teacher and students is in the stream. And then the classwork is a handy tab because it's going to show you anything that's coming up, a quiz, an assignment. And then you can see there can be particular topics in the class that those assignments might be related to. So your classwork tab is what you'll want to go to to see what's coming up. Back to the stream here, let's go to this upcoming box for a sample assignment. So you can see this particular assignment. You can add comments that the entire class can see, or you can add a private comment that only your teacher will see. And you have the option of completing this assignment over here under your work. You can add or create. And basically to do this essay, in this case, you could use Google Documents, where you'd be creating a new document that you're going to submit and click over to your Google Documents where you can place your essay. Let's just say that's our essay that we've created and we want to turn it in. Okay, this is what it looks like when you're ready to turn it in. You're going to submit the attachment and your teacher will see it. If you were to decide that there was something wrong or you wanted to add to it, you could go to unsubmit and then you have access to it again. You can go in, make further changes, and then when you are ready, go back to turn it in. Let's go back to your classes. You see the assignment that was posted, which we just turned in. You also see another post for this required reading. So your teacher might have links or things that you could go to. And then it'll take you to particular sites that uh, in this case you're being asked to read. One of the other assignments that you might get is a quiz. Let's you can see in the stream, anytime something like that, like an assignment or a quiz happens, you'll see it posted in the stream. You can also check the classwork. We see that we have a quiz with the due date. So we click on the quiz. Please, there, here's your instructions. Please fill out the multiple choice quiz and return to me. Clicking on that brings up the quiz. We're able to select our answers. When we're done submitting it back to the teacher, you can even view your score. So there you go, and then we can go back to the stream, and you see in the upcoming box we've got no work that's due, we've done our quiz, we've done our essay. This is a pretty basic understanding of how this works, the types of things that you're going to see in the stream and the classwork tabs. The third tab is for people. In this particular tutorial, I don't have students to list here, but you'll see anyone that's a part of the class should be under this people tab. I'll include a link in the description box below for this Google Classroom help. It's a site that can offer tutorials, get your questions answered, describe issues that you're having. Obviously, you can speak with your teacher, your child's teacher, to hopefully get any questions answered that you're having regarding the platform. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful, and we wish you the best for the remainder of your school year.